Hey guys, today I'd like to talk about bodybuilding myths. So, many people tell you different different things, your friends, your family, or even your coach. Today, I'd like to share five of my most favorite and most frequent asked one, which is first bodybuilding myth is, does doing weightlifting or bodybuilding will stunt your height if you train below 18 year old? The answer is no. Bodybuilding does not affect height. This is not true. Basically, why people think that bodybuilding affects your height is because um, when you lift weights, you have this gravity pulling you towards this leaf heavy, you see? The compressions towards your spine or something, but it actually won't affect the growing stage. In fact, weight training can actually promote uh, better calcium uptake and improve bone density. Another example is take a look at basketball players and rugby players. I mean the professional one, the states player. Um, they do weight training at a very young age, around, I believe they start training around 12 year old and they still can grow up to six to seven footers. Yeah, so to conclude this, weight training does not affect your height. This is not true. What affects your height is, even if you're tall, if you have weak posture, you're hunched back, and um, yes, you still won't gonna look tall. All right, always maintain the neutral, upright posture. So the next bodybuilding myth is carbohydrates. Many fitness gurus say that if you eat carbs at night, you will gain fat. No carbs at night or no carbs after 7 p.m. sharp. This is very funny because uh, if you say no carbs at 7 p.m., meaning that you still can eat carbs at 6.59 p.m. or something, you won't gain fat, but eating after 7 p.m., you will gain fat. This doesn't make sense. Basically, fat gain is all about calorie in and out. If you are eating more than your calorie out, you burn, you didn't burn it off, you still gain fat. Even if you eat no carbs at night or you didn't eat anything at night, but you have a big lunch, big breakfast, junk foods the, during the day, yeah, you still will get fat, right? So this is not true. Eating carbs at night does not make you fat. It's all about the calorie in and out. Okay, so the next fitness and bodybuilding myths is in order to get six packs, you have to train abdominals, train abs every day. This is not true. Training abs every day does not give you six packs. No matter how many millions abs crunch you do every day, but you are still not burning the layer of fat, you still can't see the muscles. So it's all about the nutrition, the training for muscle mass foundation. This gives you a six pack abs. So instead of training, six, training your abs every day, better off doing other things like cardio training, watch your food and do more compound lift that burns more calorie, okay? And this leads to the next bodybuilding myth is sport reductions. I think I mentioned this before in my previous video. Basically, sport reduction means that, okay, you only want to burn a specific part, especially for females, you want to burn this double chin. So every day do your next training, or you want to burn the arms, the fat at the tricep area, you do tricep extension every day, do expect, the fat loss during that area. No, this is not true. Basically, to burn fat, you have to focus on overall calorie out, which is the cardio, the proper nutrition, and weight lifting. Better off doing compound lift because it burns more calorie. So it works through overall. For guys, if you do crunches every day, you won't burn the tummy fat, right? Because crunches only burn little amount of calorie. Better off doing other thing. Okay, so no spot reduction. It's a bodybuilding myth. And this is the last bodybuilding myth, which is bodybuilding and weightlifting will affect your sex life. In other words, can destroy your sex life. Why? Either you are talking about sexual dysfunction or if you do bodybuilding, your penis will shrink. This is not true. Okay, let's talk about sexual dysfunction. Sexual dysfunction is all about hormone and blood circulation. If you have low level of testosterone or weak blood circulations, the chance of, of sexual, sexual dysfunction is high. So by doing weight training can Im and cardio training actually improves your blood circulation. In fact, if you do heavy weight, weight training, compound lift can improve your testosterone level. This leads to a healthier libido. So yes, in other words, that it would improve your sex life. This is what doctor says, yeah? Doctor even suggests uh, weight training for uh, many people who have sexual dysfunction issue. So, yes, it's very funny to hear from many people says that. And last one, the penis size. I know many of you look at bodybuilders, whether in YouTube's uh, in stage, bodybuilders, big body, but with their posing strong, 
the penis is small. So does weightlifting can make your penis shrink? This is a completely nonsense, it's very stupid. Okay, think about this. A 190 cm height guy, tall or not? To me it's very tall. I think it's above average. Above average height. Yes, basically it's tall, right? What happens if we stand next to a tall giraffe and we take a photo? The 190 cm guy will look short, right? But can we conclude that that guy is short? No! It's because that he's standing next to a giraffe, something taller than him. And this is the illusion that makes him look short. Same goes to bodybuilding. It's an illusion because bodybuilders train their muscles, train very hard. Eventually, over time, the muscles grow. But penis size just remain. But it doesn't mean that it's shrink and the size reduce. No. So this gives you the wrong illusion of, okay, weightlifting bodybuilders, we have this small penis. It's got nothing to do, yeah? So go ahead. Take off this insecure, that you won't affect your sex life and definitely won't affect your penny size. Just go and train hard. Okay? So I hope this enlightened you and don't care what other people say of you, whether uh, you should do this or shouldn't do that. Just go according to your feeling and what you want. Okay? And thanks for watching. That's pretty much of it for today. And thank you.